So I found these items and I had no idea what they were. I just saw them sitting there. They looked interesting. So I bought them to resell. They have it, what appears to be a photograph down on the inside, but it's kind of hard to see. You have to look very closely and you can see it's a woman's face. So I joined a Facebook group called What Is This? It was referred to me by a friend and they said to fill up the cups with water and you'll be able to see the photograph better. So that is what I'm doing here. And sure enough, it magnified the picture by a lot. So what I also learned is that that is called a lithophane. I think I'm saying that right. Lithophane. And that is what the photograph in the bottom. And you can see I'm trying to hold the camera and actually look into the cup for you guys. And I keep knocking it over. So a lithophane. I learned that. And then I also learned that these are the seven gods of happiness. However, I only have six cups, so I must be missing one. I'm not sure who is who or what is what or what any of that means. I have not re researched it any further. I'm going to be listing these in my eBay store. I will probably do an auction because the prices, quite honestly, are all over the place. But you can see here how great the pictures look when the water is in the um, little cup. And I believe these are sake cups, and I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. Again, I don't know anything about these items. All of my research came from that Facebook group, but I'm gonna show you each cup individually in case you're interested in going to my eBay store and purchasing this. I will put a link down in the description of the video. So I'm gonna show you each cup. I'm gonna show you the inside without liquid. I have no idea what this says. And on the bottom, which I think I'm getting ready to show you, you can see that it twists. And what I think is, I think this is a false bottom, which was also explained to me that it's called a false bottom by somebody in the Facebook group. I got lots of great information, so you guys should definitely check out that Facebook group. But I think originally that may be twisted off and you can insert your own photograph in the bottom. But I believe that the person who owned these before maybe glued them in because I tried twisting it and I could not get it off, but I did not try super hard. This one has a chip, unfortunately, but that's the only chip I saw. But again, I do not believe that you'll be able to unscrew these. I'm not sure if they all say the same thing on the inside or if they're all different. Now, on the last two that I show you, the piece that magnifies it, I don't know if it's a piece of glass or some type of magnification thing, but it is loose on the last two cups. And I'll show you, I kind of wiggle it with my finger and you can see movement, but that's what I'm showing you. And it's only on two of them. It doesn't appear like anything is leaking or anything like that, but it does um, have some movement to it. So the picture still looks great. Everything still looks good, but I just wanted to mention it. And you can see here, see how it kind of moves back and forth. It has, it has a little give to it. This one and the next one. So that's another reason I'm doing this video. I'm going to put this into my eBay listing so that people that are looking at the listing can also see, you know, the condition of the items and they can hear me talk about what I know about it because maybe they don't know about it. So definitely a really neat vintage uh, sake cups. And there's only six. I believe there should be seven. I'm not 100% sure. If you know any more information, please put it down in the comments. I would greatly appreciate it. And right here, I'm just showing you the size. Again, please put any information that you might have on these cups down in the description of the video. Thanks for watching.